I, I'm awfully honored to have the opportunity to lead uh, the Department of Animal Science at Texas A&M. One of the great things about this department is it is it's the largest uh, animal science department in the country and so with that comes a lot of expertise individually and within groups we have some of the best scientists in the world and along those lines we have an, an awfully big undergraduate and graduate student population and, th and then in addition to that we can't forget about our extensive extension uh, faculty group uh, that sort of represents the department around the state and so um, so I'm honored to be able to have a chance to try and cohesively get everybody to move together in, in, a, in a single direction um, to move the department into a situation not only in the fact of uh, becoming the number one department of animal science in, in the US, I want to be known internationally as the Department of Animal Science uh, by which every, uh, every country sort of uh, uh, feels like uh, uh, we are the, ma the major entity when it comes to animal science departments around the world. So to do that we're going to have to focus on maintaining a high standard of excellence in teaching and so one of our major goals over the next uh, two to three years is initiating and implementing a new curriculum uh, in animal science which uh, basically is going to uh, help us adapt to the changing uh, demographics of the undergraduate student population we have. In the past, most of the students that we had were uh, people from agricultural backgrounds who had a, had a really good understanding of animal science and uh, today a lot of the students that we have in our department don't have the necessary background and so we have to redo the curriculum so that we can uh, allow those people to be effective animal scientists once they leave. Uh, from a research standpoint, we're going to continue working on, an, uh, on excellence in, in, in research. Um, we, we have a tremendous amount of breadth uh, from uh, the really basic sciences uh, in, in biochemistry and, and uh, reproductive processes and so on. Um, to the more applied sciences in terms of animal agriculture, and then we'll, we we have a tremendous amount of depth in the in the meat sciences, the post harvest areas, and, and we cannot uh, forget about the equine sciences. And so, making sure that we focus on excellence, uh, and with that, I mean we're, we're going to have to uh, engage in, in encouraging faculty to be productive making sure that they are staying at the forefront of the science and that uh, they represent our department well in that, in that area. And then on the extension side of things, uh, there's no question that to be uh, a top extension specialist that you have to know uh, what is going on and so hopefully I can <laughs> help continue to uh, integrate our extension program into uh, into our research and teaching programs in such a way that we uh, we know that uh, the information that we're feeding to the livestock producers and equine uh, folks out there, the latest information uh, that'll make them more e economically viable.